all the things that basically I think this country is a great country. We have a lot of money and we could be spending it on hospitals, schools, and things that people need. Food, where, you know, when people are losing their houses and, uh, you know, basically um, we're spending all of our money in the wrong areas. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. I want to end the Fed and, uh, you know, get this country back to a place that's, you know, uh, people are prosperous. And, and who, got, who are you guys supporting for president, if anybody? Nobody. Nobody. Um, if I had to pick for a president, if I had to choose one of the candidates that are running right now, I would personally choose Ron Paul. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like he said, I can't speak for the movement, I can't speak for everybody. Sure. I know that we do have a lot of Ron Paul supporters right now, um, but really when it comes down to it, like, you know, none of the presidential candidates right now are going to do I like, everything that, I like that Wolf. needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And, um... How do you feel about all these Republicans uh, descending on Manchester this weekend? And I think it's great. Yeah? You know, that's what democracy is. I'm Aylan Hayward, and I came out of the uh, cave in the northern part of New Hampshire to come down here to the city folk at Occupy. And uh, what motivates you? This is obviously a big weekend before the primary, lots of uh, Republican candidates running around. What, uh, what what do you think of that? Yes, we love the media here. It's a media circus, and all of life is a stage, and I'm an actor. And we're trying to get the attention of the folks in America to wake up. So you said you've been living in, in uh, Manchester for more than 20 years now, right? Oh, probably about 25 or better. How does this primary season compare to the other ones that you've seen, just in terms of the activity or the, the, the way the conversation's going? I think the activity is a lot more. We have the Occupy people here, um, which is a big difference. You know, usually this park is absolutely empty. But people seem to be getting more involved this year than they have in past years. And um, although you, you're not voting in the primary because you're registered as an independent, or you're an independent voter, um, is there anybody among the GOP candidates that kind of appeals to you right now that you'd like to see win the nomination? Not anybody I can just put a finger on right now. I'll wait till somebody gets um, nominated and then I'll look into their background. Does that kind of say something to you that, you know, you're inclined to vote Republican, but you can't think of anybody you, you really like that to see? That says a lot to me. You know, I've talked to many people on the street, and consensus is, is that you vote for whoever lies the best. So, you know, that's consensus on the street, you know, although I'm not opposed to that opinion. Thank you so much.